Hello everyone and welcome back to Mistledyne Online and we are back with Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, the HD one that came with the 1.5 collection on the PlayStation 3. Uh, in the last episode, we were actually able to take down Axel, the, the one and only Organization 13 member that we don't quite know is Organization 13 yet, so spoiler, I'm spoiling this whole game for you, I'm sorry, hate me later. So. Uh, we will find ourselves here in Agrabah, and this is really our first time. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you destroy all of these tents that you can. As you can see, just from that, we ended up getting a level 6 Blizzard card. Uh, I would also suggest that this is a pretty good time, if you need to, to actually kill the Heartless in this area. And during the fights that took us almost this entire thing, we ended up gaining a level on Sora. So, at this point, we've been putting most of our points into, uh, CP. But we're actually going to put another point into CP, actually. We're going to do that until he hits 400 CP, and then we'll go back to health. Um, I could be making a mistake there, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah. So that's almost all of the enemies in this area. Uh, so now, now that that's done... Ah, oh, man, I forgot one enemy. We can go and get all of these Moogle points, but I would, which I would definitely suggest doing now, uh, because we'll actually be able to make a Moogle store place real soon. Like, within Agrabah, we'll be able to do that. So, apparently I missed a lot of enemies. Um, but that's, that's fine. So you want to go and make sure that all of these are destroyed, get all of the things that you can. I mean, you don't really need to, obviously, do that. If you want to just get through the game, you can. This is a story door, and that's a story door. The only door that is not currently, like, a story is this one right here. Uh, so, you know, take that into consideration. Okay, now the entire place is clear of enemies. That took way too long. Uh, this is the first episode that I'm actually recording back from a bit of a break with this game, so I apologize if the commentary isn't totally up to par with the rest. Um, it's just we took a massive break from this game. So, we'll go ahead and use this door since this is the only door that isn't story mode. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna lie to you. We're gonna continue the story, I think, a little bit. And we're gonna go here. Uh, the cards you sh see shall be the key. So I think here we need a red card. That's literally all we need, is a red card. So why don't we go with something that's really cheap. Why don't we go with this, Sleeping Darkness. We have four of them. We'll use the number one. I think that's pretty much all we can do there. And then we need to use the, uh, the door here, which is... Can we just use the key of beginnings? Or we need a key to truth, and we don't actually have the key to truth yet. Do we? Yeah, so we actually don't have the key to truth yet. So let's see if we can use this door. We might be able to use this door uh, with the key to beginnings. Yeah, okay, exactly. So we need a green card, and we can actually do a... Hmm. Hmm. We need a green card first. So why don't we go with... Something that's super cheap will go with this one. A room where your attack cards are more effective. This way we can use a level 1, we don't need to worry about it too much, and of course we can use the key to beginnings. And that will open the door, Sora. Your heart will open the door. So, uh, why are you going to the palace, Aladdin? That no good royal vizier, Jafar, tricked me into getting the magic lamp from the Cave of Wonders. The cave was crawling with Heartless. I'm lucky I made it back to Agrabah in one piece. Oh, wasn't there anyone else there to help you out? <laughs> hmm. I can't do a Ro Robin Williams voice, or else I would. I know how you feel, Master. People have been ordering me around for 10,000 years. I keep wishing someone will wish me out of this gig, but hmm, I wonder. Well, how about you use my third wish to set you free? Oh, <gasps> you'd do that for me, Al? Oh, yeah. I promise Jeannie will do it. Anyway, there's only one thing I really want. That's Jasmine. Then we'll have to do something about that, Al. Can I call you Al? <laughs> well, there's this girl. Her name is Jasmine. She's Princess of Agrabah. And that's the problem. It's hard for a street lat rat, street lat, like me, to get a chance to see her. That's how this all started. 
I thought if I went to the Cave of Wonders, I could get the treasure, and maybe then Jasmine would want to meet me. Sounds like your wish should be that you can see Jasmine anytime you want. Well, I've got just the package for you. You'll not only meet the lady, you'll go in style as Prince Ali. How'd you like the sound of that, Al? Me? A prince? Can you really do that? I guess the legends were true after all. Come on, let's get to the palace. Let's do it! So, it pretty much follows a little bit of the story. Kinda. And we got the key of guidance from that, which is good. And we'll find ourselves back in this room. So, literally, the only reason you use that door is to, uh, is just for the story. So, now we have the key of guidance. So, we can go ahead and use this door if we want one more, once again. Uh, I think we... No, we don't have the key to guidance, so I'm just being stupid. So let's go ahead and use this door finally. This is the one that I was originally going to use. And we want to use a level 1 card if we can. Uh, we don't want to use a level 0. It can be any card with 1 or higher. So, we're going to look for a 1 card. Or a 2 card. We'll use this, we'll use Alchemic Waking, a room where your item cards are more effective. And we'll just use our two. So that means that the next room will be a three or higher, if I'm not mistaken. Which I'm not, because I'm a genius, clearly. And again, in any of these rooms, you really just want to fight Heartless. You pretty much, because I find this game so challenging, you kind of want to stay above... Uh, the difficulty curve in this game. So you can attack... Oh, no! I didn't want to do that! Okay, as I was saying, you can go ahead and hit this as many times as you like, but all it's going to do is give you HP balls, which you might need if, 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 you know, things are a little challenging. It's depending how hard you guys find this game. If you find this game really hard, then yeah, I would say stay atop, stay on top of your levels. If you don't find this game that hard, you really don't need to worry about it too much. So after that wonderful fight, we actually got another level up. So again, we're just going to put it into max CP so that we can make our decks as big as we want uh, in a little bit, which is actually going to be super helpful. Uh, and there you go. So we're actually going to stop that for a little while now and put more points into our health now that we're, you know, getting into into a little more damaging guys. Now, I might have done that wrong. I don't think so. I did some planning before I actually started this game, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, if you don't know, Alchemic Waking, it said that it increases our item cards. Uh, what that does is it actually just adds levels to the cards. So, whereas my item card before was a 6, I believe, it is now a 7. So it just makes it so that you can't really be card broken as easily while using items, which is nice. Okay, and that battle's done, so now we can go ahead, of course, and break these, which is something we need to do again. Uh, we will be able to make a Moogle card. I don't actually think we have the card for it yet, but that's okay. We will be getting it, damn it! Alright, now we actually got a uh, Wishing Star card as well, which is a new, a new Keyblade keychain that we can use. Uh, it's actually a new, in this game, it's a new card, uh, attack card that we can use. Usually has higher stats, um, kind of corresponds to what happened in the first game when we got the Wishing Star, where it did a lot more power, uh, but had shorter range. Um, I believe that's actually exactly what it is now. We want to watch out for these large bodies, too. I'm actually leaving this fight in here, because this is, we've encountered these guys before, um, at least you would have, if you are playing alongside this alongside me, uh, but I decided that we'd actually show him. So, he is actually a pretty tough opponent, but if you can attack him from behind and get a good Blizzard card or anything else out there, uh, you won't really have a problem with him. Blizzard does a ton of damage. I think I used a level 5 fire on him, and it actually took him down below half health. So, that was pretty good. Uh, we don't really have anything that we can use here. I'm just going to use a cure because I can, and we'll pop that real quick. And again, remember that zero cards are really only good for breaking, and not necessarily good for summons. You don't really want to use uh, a summon, like a friend, uh, level three. That usually spells doom for you. I'm going to see if I can... I broke his card there. We're going to actually use a level six here, Simba. And down goes this battle. But I just wanted to show you what you're going to be facing for the most, most of the time. And we got a roulette room. Pretty cool. Okay, and we can finish breaking these. There you go, and we'll get that card real quick, which was a Three Wishes level 5. 
pretty nice, pretty nice stuff. All right, so now we have two doors that we can use in here. And you can, of course, hit select to open your map, if you would like. We're actually going to open uh, this door first, although it doesn't totally matter. But figure I'll let you, I'll let you know what we're gonna do, you know? All right, so let's open this door. And this door needs a level three or higher. Luckily, we have a, we do have a level three premium room, which is a room where victory often leads to premium bonuses. Uh, I know it seems a little crazy to use a premium room right now. I kind of want to wait to use it. Because especially since its criteria is three or higher of any kind of card, I would kind of just like to use, uh, maybe meeting ground would be nice. We have so many of them. Let's go ahead and use uh, Meeting Ground, since that we, we have the most of those. We'll go ahead and use that. I think that's a good call. Meeting Ground makes it so that uh, your, a friend card will appear at the start of every battle. Uh, which is pretty good, especially if you build up those those Donald and Goofy slates. They can, they can work wonders. Yeah. Okay, so now that we're in here, uh, obviously, obviously your rooms are going to change. That's what's kind of weird about this as a walkthrough, uh, is it's going to change. There we go, we... Got him, we got the Yellow Rhapsody. All right, I think we did okay there. Ah, uh, no we didn't. All right, and more importantly, we ended up getting a Moogle Room card from that fight, which is just absolutely yeah. fantastic. Uh, that's one of the, just the best cards we could get right now. Uh, we can spend some of our hard-earned Moogle points at it, and I will show that soon. This room is actually pretty tiny, so we're actually okay right now. Uh, oh, we'll get another Wishing Star card, level three, or three wishes, not yeah. Wishing Star. Uh, oh, and we get a we got a Kingdom card key from yeah. hitting this. I think that's all we can get from it. Yeah, that's all we can get from that. But worth getting, worth getting. Uh, obviously, that's all random, and your stuff is not going to really be the same. But all right, so if we jump up here, we'll have some more fights. Didn't mean to do that. All right, and we hit level 11 in that last fight. So we're gonna go ahead and boost our HP. We don't have a slate yet. We can get one soon though. So if we take this, I think there's gonna be one. Yeah, I accidentally missed, but. And of course there will be enemies up here as well. Now that this room is clear and we got all of these Moogle points, which is so many, we have so many Moogle points now, uh, we can actually see that right here is the only room we can use, and that's a story one. So let's go ahead and see what this is, which is we have to have the Key of Guidance, which we do have, and any any cards with numbers totaling 15 or higher, which is actually really, really annoying. Uh, so we don't want to use our Moogle room, obviously. Uh, we want to use basically our highest cards to get rid of them. So we're actually going to use Sorceress Waking, your room where your magic cards are more effective. We're going to use, it doesn't matter at all though, uh, we're going to use level 9 and then we need to use a level 6, a level 6 card, which, um, we're going to use our Feeble Darkness, level 6. And of course, our Key of Guidance. And in this room. Walk! Look at that! <laughs> that was my Donald voice. How'd you like that? Who is that? It's Jasmine. Oh no. We'll never make it in time. Genie! Then I have no choice. Genie, I wish for you to save Jasmine. Can do. Charge! That's his second wish already. What a scrub. What a scrub cake. Jasmine. We're lucky. She fainted, but it looks like she's okay. But now you've only got one one wish left. And now we still have to fight these shadows. Why didn't you just jump in? Just... Wait, this is your last wish. Don't waste it. This time, let us handle the wish granting. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Yeah, Sora. So this is a fight you will have to do no matter what, so I will leave this in. My question for you guys, though, uh, and, and something I'm definitely curious about, is what do you want to s me to do with fights? 
Do you want me to speed through them with post commentary, no commentary, music? Uh, do you want me to just edit them out like I've been doing? What would you like to see? Let me know. Let me know, guys. And uh, grab this Aladdin card, because you can never go wrong with Aladdin. We're actually going to add him to a slate. We're not going to use him just yet. We were actually able to break that shadow, and we'll... Ah, uh, I thought we were going to be able to break it there. We're not. We won't. Okay. We'll go ahead and use our Simba summoning card, which is so good. It's actually called Prideful Roar, but what are you going to do? I like, I like calling it our Simba card. Because I love Simba. I love Simba. Simba's so cool. Okay. Make sure that we're good there. I could have just used my item there. I didn't need to actually do that at all. And a bunch of a bunch of these guys will show up as well. The Air Knights. Or not Air Knights. Yeah, I think they're Air, Air Rights, maybe. We'll go ahead and use this. A bunch of Yellow Operas as well will show up. This is... Pretty challenging, but nothing. I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna like die here or anything, uh, unless you're like really bad. Like if you're me, you'll probably die here because you're really bad at this game. But if you're anybody else, you'll be fine. You'll be just fine. And we'll go ahead. We have Sandstorm level two, which we actually haven't been able to see yet. So I would like to see if we can use that. I'd rather though uh, see if we can use, see if we can get another card of his. Especially since even more come. So this fight is pretty long, but with the way cards are, you don't really need to worry about it. Okay. Uh, we don't have... Wait, wait, there he is, there he is. Okay, good. So now we will be able to use a level 3 Sandstorm. Let's go ahead and use that. Look at him. Look at him just charge through. Look at how many he killed. Did you guys see that? That's crazy. That's crazy. He's so good. And watch how much damage just a blizzard does. Just erased. Even a fire. If we go ahead and use fire, look at that. Just erased off the map. I love it. Alright, we'll go ahead and use a level 5 Goofy here. I'm pretty sure that will be able to kill most of these. Uh, or none of them. Or, you know, one of them. Okay. Let's go ahead and use a, uh, a Cure there. It's worth noting that you can use Cure. Uh, we're out of cards, so... I'm so bad at, like, paying attention to charging. And there we go. This fight is over, finally. And we get a Aether card from that. That's our first Aether card that we've gotten this entire game. Uh, what that does is it automatically reloads your magic cards, I believe. See, we didn't need Genie this time. Thanks, Sora, but I'm still gonna down to my last wish. What? What? What's happening? Oh no, the lamp, it's gone! Wait, Jafar just took it? Hmm, it seems my plans have gone amiss. I was certain you'd waste your last wish. What with poor Jasmine in distress and these delightful creatures to deal with. But no matter. At last, the lamp and its genie are mine to command. Why are you doing this, Jafar? You've got the lamp, what more do you want? Such an interesting question. You see, I knew you were going to use the lamp to try and win Jasmine's heart. But we can't have that now, can we? Because I am the one Jasmine will marry. You? But you're old! Certainly you realize that if I marry the princess, then nothing can stop me from becoming Sultan. You're nothing more than a pawn in my game, street rat. Genie, my first wish, deliver Jasmine to me. Oh no! She wasn't even there. She wasn't even there in the cutscene, was she? I don't think so. Genie! Sorry, Al. My hands are tied on this one. I'm so bad at Robin Williams. I probably should have practiced my Genie voice before I did this. Just saying. Great. Now I've lost Jasmine and the lamp. You can feel bad about it some other time. If you don't pull yourself together, you'll never see Jasmine again. You lost the lamp. So what? You can still save her on your own. Losing someone you care about is bad, but not as bad as never getting them back. So, there's a, a big flaw here, right, in Genie's thing. Literally, if Aladdin used his two wishes and then handed Sora the thing and was like, can you make three more wishes for me? And then gave the, or two more wishes and then gave the lamp back to Aladdin? Like, alright, that's just a big flaw. Maybe we can, I've got an idea. Listen up. 